Hello and welcome to Mr Barton's Gapminder World video number 6. Now quite an interesting relationship to look at this week, well I think it is anyway, and that is between how rich a country is and how fast its economy is growing. Now before we actually have a look at the data, is it the case that the rich just keep getting richer because they've more money to invest in infrastructure and all that kind of stuff? Or is it the case that it's the poor countries that are growing faster because they've more capacity for growth, more potential? Well, as ever, only one way to find out. So this is what the world looks like in 2008. Now, on the y-axis, I've got growth per year. And on the x-axis, I've got income per person. Now, the first thing to notice is that graph's quite hard to interpret. So let's do a bit of zooming in. So if I just click down here, bottom right, and I click on my little zoom in tool, and I'm just going to drag around, and I'm going to keep things... Um, between positive 20% uh, growth rate and about minus 15, just to make sure I get all the countries in, something like that looks good there. Perfect. Now, I reckon that's about as good an example of no correlation as you could ever hope to see. There seems to be no link between how rich a country is in 2008 and how its economy is growing. Now, before we start to move the world and look back in time, it's important just to get our head around what kind of movements we're looking for. So a movement up and down is a change in growth, and a movement to the right and left is a change in the wealth of a country, the income per person. And obviously these things are intrinsically tied together. If an economy is growing, it's um, inhabitants are getting richer and vice versa okay uh, the other thing to notice before we change things around is it's no surprise that the African countries are towards the left of the graph and it's the um, Europe and Central Asian countries towards the right of the graph however let's just have a look at this let's roll right back to the 60s and if um, if you suffer from motion sickness or epilepsy or something you might want to look away now because it's all kicking off here just watch what happens as the world develops over the next 40 odd years there are movements all over the show. Countries are bouncing up and down, moving to the right and left, and it's very, very, very hard to interpret. So what I thought we'd do is pick out three countries and track their progress. So the first one I'm going to look at is the United States of America. Okay, And there it is in 2008. Now notice anything below the line uh, on, on the growth thing is negative growth. Okay, So I'm just going to scroll it back here to um, 1961 and we'll track its progress. So here comes the United States. Now the United States, its growth rate seems to be going up and down by quite a considerable margin. And when we get to the end, we'll just have a look at some of those key dates. The lowest things get is in 1982 when there's a recession and uh, the economy shrinks by just around about 3%. And then a few years later, though, the economy is very much back on its feet and growing at 63 So on the face of it, it looks like the USA has quite fluctuating levels of growth between about minus 3 up to about 6 However, that is nothing when you compare it to our old friend, China. Now, I make no apologies for often turning to China for, these data, for this data because it's such a fascinating story. So, let's uh, deselect the USA and let's focus on China. Now, wait till you see this. So, China selected. Let's scroll back. And here we go from 1961. Keep your eye on the big red dot. That is China. It's already all over the show. So remember, up and down is a change in growth rate, and a movement to the right is a change in the wealth of a country. So, first thing to notice is in 1961, it's off the map. It's below 12% uh, fall in growth, so the economy's shrinking. However, look at this rapid rise. In 1970, the economy's grown at 16%. And crucially, there's your zero line. The growth rate never, ever, ever dips below that zero line in the last kind of 40 or so years. Okay? And I want to and it's no wonder that again, as I've said this before in these videos, that China is emerging as the next world superpower. But I want to leave you with this. Contrast that with Zimbabwe. China, when it was fluctuating, was at least moving in the right direction towards the right of the graph. For the last 30 seconds of this video, just watch Zimbabwe. Here we go. Again, it's up and down like China, but the key difference is Zimbabwe is not making any movements to the right. It's having high growth, it's having negative growth, and by the end of it, in those 40 years, it ha its economy hasn't really grown at all. Okay, hope you found that quite interesting, and I will see you with another Gapminder World video next week. Take care. Bye-bye.